Okay, uh, before we start, we will need to make sure that the touchpad needs to be uh, booted in recovery mode so that we can actually connect it to do the TP2 box. So what you need to do now is to press the volume up button and the power button. Okay, there you can see, you'll be able to see the, when you're in recovery means you're going to see the USB symbol here. So once you are done with that, we'll move on to the next step to launch the TP2 box. <clears throat> okay guys, before we start doing the uh, Android 7 NuGet installation to the HP touchpad, so first of all, you need to make sure that you have the Lubacom driver installed into your PC so that you can actually connect to the touchpad. So you can actually download, um, I'll leave the link down below where you can download the drivers. So this, this is the one that I'll be using. So you just double click on it to download the Lubacom driver and install it. So when you have that installed, you should be able to actually connect your touchpad with it. So when that is installed, we will move on to the next step. Okay, once you have put your <coughs> touchpad into recovery mode, so the next thing you need to do is once you have downloaded the TP2 box, you need to um, <coughs> extract it out into a folder, which, which I did now. So what you have now, it's... Uh, You'll, you'll see what is inside there. So basically what you need to do is to run the patch file if you're in Windows or you, if you're in Linux then stuff you can run the .sh stuff, right? So so what you need to do now is to actually connect once connect your connect your touchpad to the computer. So basically what you need to do is to connect your touchpad now to the computer. Once connected, if you have Novacom driver installed, things should work. Flawlessly. So what you need to do now is to do a tp v underscore v42 underscore win dot bad. Then you just need to press enter. Then they are checking your Novacom service and stuff. Then now they will be loading tp2 box into your HP touchpad. So on your screen yeah, on your screen, you'll see some 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 scribbling stuff coming out from there. Then the TP2 box page will be loaded. Right. So after that, yeah, you're done. So let's move on to the touchpad for the setup. Uh, of course, one of the one of the things that we should do prior to that is that we should actually do a refresh A6 firmware for them to actually flash the a a6 firmware so that they will they will actually fix your battery stuff any kind of battery issues that you have you should do a refresh uh, <coughs> refresh of a6 firmware to ensure that the um the battery is in optimal condition so so this is one of the steps that you should do before we uh, moved on to all the other steps right so after this we can actually move to <coughs> install android so we can actually move back to install android Okay, before we start installing of Android, I mean the best and most optimal way is to remove everything in your tablet, meaning we'll remove the old web OS from the tablet itself uh, and just purely install Android on a fresh basis. So, and for that to start, before we can install Nougat, most, this video will actually help uh, go through with you on how to install Android KitKat into the touchpad. Only after that, we'll do an update to Android Nougat. So before we start, we should do a complete data reset. So what you need to do is just to do a complete data reset. They will actually reset everything there so that there won't be anything else after this. And it's basically for you to install OS without um, the Android itself without WebOS in it so that you have more space to play around with. So after you have chosen complete data reset, just click on the home button. And they will tell you that this will basically delete everything. So yeah, just go do a yes and then just continue on with it. Yes. Yes. So normally they will have three times so that you are really confirmed that you want to delete off everything. So when you click on the home button for the third time, they will basically do the reset. So now they are re <coughs> erasing everything. So you just need for need to wait for this to finish. Then we can actually move on to uh, installing Android.
So once you are done with that, we can move on to the install Android portion. Then basically what we need to do now is just to uh, press on the home button and they will check for all the stuff that needed to be checked. And for now, you will need to move on to the computer to do the copying of files. So if you, if you look at the touchpad, once you have do a complete data install, what you are left with in the, inside the touchpad itself is only one TT install folder. So go into that folder and copy all the, um, the KitKat ROM, OpenGFs for KitKat as well as the recovery that you want to use into the TT install folder. So now just let the copy finish and we'll move on back to the touchpad. Okay, once you have copied all the files inside the uh, HP touchpad, what you can do now is to do you close off this and you do a eject. This is a critical Option you should do a critical step, so you do an eject. Okay, once it's safely removed, then you can close it off and we'll move on to the touchpad. Okay, so once once you guys have the copy the file into the uh, touchpad itself, you can do an unmount with media volume. But just in case if you guys um, have issues with G apps. So most probably if you are doing that, you should actually download the GApps from the ROM itself which is compatible so that you don't have any issues um, flashing the uh, Android KitKat itself. So once you are done with that, you just need to click on the home button. Then you will start checking your zip files for any kind of like uh, issues for installing. Once the checking is done, they will start flashing your device and you will be booted and welcomed by the Android version itself on your touchpad. Okay, once you reach here, you should basically adjust volume sizes so that uh, it's basically for you to flash Android Nougat later on. So what you need to do is just to move your arrow key down to adjust volume sizes. So here, what you need to do is go to CM data. Select um, minus one zero two four, and then go to the system side and select a plus one zero two four. So first of all, you just go back, go back, then go to CM systems, and go to plus one zero two four. Again. And you just do apply changes to confirm the layout and you can continue on with the flashing. So you do apply changes. Then confirm OS install, you just put a yes for this. And now we'll be installing. So now your KitKat ROM will be booted up. <clears throat> so what you need to do now is just to wait for the first boot to finish. And this is normally pretty long, so we'll just wait for it. Of course now you have been booted up the Android, um, I mean like the niche OS. So what you need to do now is just to just do a so setup. I think we'll just skip this for now. Skip this for now. Um, next, next, finish. Okay, okay. So what you can see now, this is like minimal stuff. Uh, of course, the camera is like over there. 
So we move this up, uh, move this thing over. This is a very clean build of OS, I should say. If you go to look at the settings, of course, um, if you're asking me, we should fix the date and time just in case things go wrong. So for me, it would be uh, class 8, uh, 24 hours format and stuff, right? So, um, so set date, today's 10, 10, 10. Okay, so for this is done and I'm um, sorry, I missed that out. So if you take a look at this, now we'll be running on 4.4.4, which is Android KitKat. And frankly, this is the best ROM available for the HP touchpad. It's, it's stable, it's usable, it's very usable and, and things have been good. Um, if you are if you're happy with this, you should stay stay on here. And if you want, then we can actually move on now to the next steps of the installation, which is to put in Android uh, Nougat into HP Touchpad itself. And of course, it's not as going to be as stable as this. So um, you will need to see what's your preference. If it's just Android you want on your touchpad, this is the best option you're going to have. And if you want to see how Nougat runs on touchpad, then we move on to the next step of it. So what you need to do next is to connect your touchpad uh, to the computer and actually copy the files copy the files into the folder itself right the nougat installation files so we'll actually proceed to the computer side for the next step uh, of course now what you can do is to create a folder called td install and internal storage of your touchpad uh, this is optional, you can rename to whatever folder name that you want but I just follow back the original convention and actually copy the files that you have inside to the HP touchpad itself so all your the latest TWRP recovery uh, OpenJF Spico as well as the Evervolve AOSP Nougat ROM into the touchpad so once we have done with that, we can continue on with the process Okay, we have done the copy completed itself, so we can close this off now and we'll move on to the touchpad for a further setup. Okay, first of all, we would need to move to uh, recovery. So what we normally do is just press on the power button and we... Oh, we can't actually do this. Uh, do a reboot. So the computer will reboot, then basically what, when it gets rebooted, you will need to choose uh, recovery itself. The recovery that you wanted to boot into so you will choose put to twrp and yeah there you go so they will boot into twrp so now what we are going to do is to flash the twrp to the latest version so what you can do now is to click on install then look for the files that we have copied in which is this one then you flash your latest TWRP recovery so you just swipe to confirm the flash and now you are flashing the recovery itself so what you can do now is to just do a reboot system and then when you get rebooted you boot into TWRP recovery again so you just put TWRP and they will boot it into it again Okay, so once you are in the latest TWRP, what you can do now is to just do it there. Then what you need to do now is to go to the wipe menu, then do advanced wipe. Then you are going to wipe system partition. And then you just do the wipe. So now we are wiping off the system partition. Then you just need to go back to the main one and do an install. So now look for TT install and put in your tenderloin, add more zip and your GF speaker. So when you have done with these two files, then you can actually just do a site to complete flash.
Okay, once we are done with the uh, flashing, so what we can do is just to uh, do a wipe on this. So once we are done with this, we can just do a reboot. The first boot normally will take a bit long, so you just need to wait it out. Here, you ask you whether you want to install the app. Uh, normally, I do not install. We'll just leave it. Then we'll wait for the touchpad to be booted. So this one, we just need to all the same, boot up evolve. It'll take a bit of time, then just wait it out. Okay, it seems like we have completed the uh, boot up. seems to be very snappy we'll see how it goes uh, okay it actually this uh, clock stop well this doesn't look good but um, at least we are done so now okay so we are done with the uh, nougat stuff if you look at it uh, this is familiar looking nougat kind of like sandor uh, under two of course there will be stuff that is not going to work but um, of course there are some other th tweaks and stuff that you can do to ensure that um, things get run properly but uh, somehow or rather I think it still it still should work okay I don't have Wi-Fi here so I can't check with this so um, camera I know is not working so there might be some other stuff that is going to work but I will need to check that out to ensure that things got working but uh, you have that little animation there which is pretty nice and of course, uh, somehow or other the clock stopped working. We can try on the clock again and just put in a digital clock. Uh, great. Okay, it seems to work fine as well for the clock. Uh, everything else seems to be okay. It's not like really bad or something. Things are working fine. All the animation still works. But uh, open up again. And somehow or other the clock is not working. Oh yeah, so I think we will need to restart that to see how it goes. But that's how the how how you're gonna install Android Nougat into your touchpad. And that's all I'm gonna have for now. Um, if you guys want, you can follow the step by step guide to actually install Nougat on your touchpad itself. But my recommendation is still to put back Android KitKat itself into the touchpad. That would be the best Android ROM available for the touchpad. And um, of course, if you want other new features that comes with Android Nougat, then this is the one that you can test. It's not like a very bad kind of ROM, but it's just not good for a daily driver, I, I, sh I should say. I mean, if you are using it for your for, for daily use, you should actually stick back with the KitKat ROM, right? If you want to play around with the new ROM and stuff, this, this ROM is okay for you to play around with. So that's all for today. Um, I will have another video on how you actually restore the HP touchpad back to factory settings, um, factory web OS settings without anything clean, remove Android and everything. So uh, do stay tuned for that video. And um, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can and hope to see you again soon. And please subscribe if you like the things that I'm doing now. And um, that's all folks. Bye.